Attorney and former Bush administration advisor Adolfo Franco joins us live to break it all down, sir. Thanks for joining us. Delighted to be with you. Thank you. Okay, so two things. Number one, do you think that the Bidens should testify? And when I say Bidens, I'm specifically referencing Hunter and Joe at this point. And do you think that's actually going to happen? Well, I, I will say this. Uh, if we have witnesses, they absolutely have to testify. I, I would hope that no one would testify only because this is such a charade and has been from the beginning. I just quickly have to remind uh, our viewers that this is the third attempt in the last three years formally to try to remove President Trump from office. And really, it's not President Trump's not the target. The American people are the target. Uh, there was a resolution, two resolutions that were in, entered uh, in the House uh, in 2017 that garnered uh, Thirty percent of the Democratic caucus over the president uh, supporting the American flag because people were were, uh, were kneeling. So, but to answer your question very directly on this, uh, in 2006 they are making the case uh, for Hunter Biden, which is really what what this is about. Uh, president Trump had a perfectly normal, appropriate telephone call about the 2016 election and about the vice president using his influence in 2016 to put his son into a job for which he was clearly not qualified. That was the genesis of this. And when the president said to help us, he was referring to the United States, yeah. not himself. So therefore, I think there is a basis to call them. But I would prefer not to call any witnesses just because this I don't want to legitimize an illegitimate process. Well, and then the president has people I don't think he wants to testify either. Let's go to a soundbite here from for former Congressman reasons. Trey Gowdy, and he's talking about the Bidens and also even more pie in the sky, the idea of having former President Obama testify. Yeah. The vice president is relevant as a witness, but so too is President Obama, because I would want to know whether or not he had the authority of the president at the time he made that, that pronouncement that there'll be no loan guarantees unless the prosecutor is fired. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you have to think that that would never happen. President Obama uh, testifying. No. No, but the, the, the Congressman, uh, uh, you know, Gowdy's point is, is a legitimate one. They began a political circus here uh, in the House. They broke really the rules that are necessary. The president was never given due process in the House of Representatives. They didn't call the witnesses in the House as they should have. So they, when you start a political circus, this is what you get. The culprits here are the Democrats in the House. Yeah. They have fallen into the abyss of rage, partisan rage and hate for President Trump. And it's a consequence of a flawed process. They're they're trying to correct it in the Senate, and this is the consequence. Okay. Let's talk about another topic here for a second before we let you go. The administration expected to crack down on birth tourism. Tell us what this crackdown would entail and what you think of it. Well, it's high time. Uh, as a naturalized U.S. citizen, U.S. citizenship is earned. Uh, it's not uh, something that comes accidentally. It's not something that is contrived through political scheme, uh, criminal schemes that are taking place to bring people into the United States for the purpose of bestowing U.S. citizenship. What, could you imagine overseas if accidentally an American citizen gave birth, if that is person is automatically a citizen of South Korea or Italy and not an American citizen. No, yeah. of course not. They're registered in U.S. embassies. Foreigners coming here, illegal aliens, anyone that's coming through a political scheme with the purpose of coming here to give birth yeah. should be denied U.S. citizenship. They, they, you know, they, and they, they, that should it, only be earned. They call it anchor babies. The AOC mm -hmm. put out a tweet here well, and uh, let's read are. it off to you. Pregnant women. This administration is now targeting pregnant women. When you single out the most vulnerable, the cruelty is the point. Uh, I mean, this is obviously a scam in most cases. Um, what do you make of that tweet? Well, first of all, I think the treat is outrageous. First of all, this, these are illegal aliens coming here. They're coming through political schemes organized in China and Latin America and so forth. And they are anchor bear, ba babies to come here. And, and a, lot uh, of it's coming, is, a lot of it is coming from, from China and they're wealthy families. Correct. I mean, these are people spending eighty or $100,000 for the ability to do and this. Scammed in the yeah. first place. And secondly, putting uh, pregnant women at risk. But most importantly on this is citizenship, our founding fathers in, intended two things that the citizen that the the uh, citizens of americans who have children automatically are citizens and those who are not as in my case you have to go through through a, through a process right. now senator right. mccain senator mccain was born in panama is he a panamanian of course not uh, his parents registered him All at right. the u.s embassy we should do the same thing with respect to foreigners who accidentally or on purpose Sir. come to this country to, to become citizens thank you so much for your time we do appreciate thank it. You. thank you Adolfo. thank you very much have a good day